All right, so for this problem, you have a door that is on hinges and you need to find the angular velocity um, and we can call the angular velocity vector WZ of the door as it's swinging. So um, you're given angular momentum, the Z component of angular momentum, you're given mass um, and they also give you um, the radial distance away from the hinge, um, which we'll call R. Okay, so we can call this R and we can call this B. Um, now, you can sort of do a cheat code and say, okay, well, if you have, um, you know, if you look at it from a vertical view and this is a slender rod, you can look up the angular momentum for a slender rod and it'll be the same thing, but we're going to, I'm just going to show you something. So the formula for, um, the formula for angular velocity is WZ is going to be equal to LZ over I, where I is your moment of inertia. Now the moment of inertia is um, conventionally known as the sum of each individual mass times the radial distance away from the axis of rotation squared if we go ahead and put this in integral form, this will simply be r squared rho um, dA. Okay, and what this is basically doing is that this is summing up all of the um, masses with their radii to basically get the angular momentum of each slice or the moment of inertia, sorry. So what is this dA area element dA going to be? If you take an infinitesimal area element and you're adding them all up, well, dA is simply going to be dr dB. And if you kind of zoom in on that, if you kind of zoom in on dA, it'll have some little change in R volume and some little change in height or what I call dB. So this just ends up basically being, well, the density over um, area is constant, so that goes outside the integral. And then we have r squared dr and um, db from 0 to b and from 0 to r. And this simply becomes um, rho one-third r cubed times b. And we know that rho is equal to um, mass over area in this case, the surface area density. So this is just going to be mass over r times b times one third r cubed times b. <laughs> the b's cancel. And then this just equals one third m big m the mass of the door r squared okay well this is this is our moment of inertia so we have everything we need to solve for the angular velocity wz and you um should be able to get um your answer from there hope that helps